have left me with no option but to terminate my personal relationship with you. And this time you will stay away from me or I will lay a complaint of sexual harassment. Do an inventory and send it to the morgue. Oh, oh thank you. It hasn't been checked for ID. to John Doe, there's money in it that needs counting and locking up. He did the right thing with the recess. The others told me how hard you worked on him. Not everyone would have. Any clues? Don't you have work to do? Hi. Hi. I was going to come and see you later. How about? About our rings. Oh, you've taken yours off. Well, 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 I just thought that... No, 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 of course, you're absolutely right. I, uh, here. Well, well, here? You bought them. No, you... You should keep it. Oh. Well, you can throw it away if you want. You can use a keychain. I don't oh, care. I've upset you. No, it, no, it's fine. Just, just let's move on. Mr. Smith's wound ring has not been removed. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I must have forgotten. Oh, well, I asked you to do it this morning, but obviously filling your stomach is more important. Oh, for goodness sake, pull your head in. Um, Chris and I ended things this morning. Oh. I am um, projected my feelings of sadness and frustration. And, um, that was unprofessional. I know what it's like, a breakout. You're allowed to be upset. I'm kind of going through the same thing at the moment, and it's not easy. So if you need someone to talk to, I'm here. No, I prefer not to discuss personal issues with members of my team. Still struggling with dating a colleague? Well, not anymore. She's decided to call it quits. Fair enough. It was tough under normal circumstances. Throwing ass burgers and... You're meant to be on my side. Yeah, well, I'm just being realistic. Well, so am I. Realistically, it's not improbable that she and I could work. So I'm going to make it work, whether she likes it or not. That's the attitude. Come out for a beer tonight. A few of us are hitting that new sports bar to watch the game. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Gabrielle will still be there tomorrow. And in a much better mood, hopefully. Trust me, you need to chill out. This coming from you. Me, I'm tight. Those strikes kicking in, Echo? Yes, thanks. The newlywed, part two. Why are you here, Uncle? What do you want? Pills. Off your gap. Ah, oh, no can do. If you want to repeat, you need to go to the PCC. Shh. You're a doctor. No, an ED consultant, not a GP. You know where the clinic is? Oh, come on. I'll give you a tip. Rest five, Eddington. Sir Mint. Is a sure thing? Okay, PCC is this way. This is the way you treat your family? Yes, same as any other patient. Uncle, thanks for the tip, though. Here you go, on the house. If that's supposed to be a celebration of my single existence, you can shove it up It's your a glass of champagne, Lib. Plus a champagne with a decent alcohol content. Thanks. I'm sorry you've been hurt. You don't deserve that. But you do deserve something better than Chris Warner. Oh, I certainly hope you're not trying to get back no, with me. No, of course I'm not. Oh, no, that's right. You're going out with a 12-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> Things are going to be OK, Lib. Your next victim's waiting just around the corner, I'm sure of it. And yours is trying to get your attention. And here was me thinking we're just getting along. For once, I think we were, but if you keep her waiting, her arm's gonna fly off. Guess what? I have a romantic night in planned for us. Oh, great. As long as there's any night but tonight. No, um, Scotty and the lads have organised a get-together to watch the rugby. That's okay. Maybe another night then. Are you sure? 
Yeah, it's fine. It's not like I went to any trouble, so. Oh, um, it's Lucy. I'm gonna go meet up with her. At least someone wants to hang out with me. Sophie, we come first. Boys can wait. Yay. Not avoiding me, are you? What do you want? Your signature on my new lease agreement. Given your current circumstances and your complete inability to take any responsibility for your life, I have decided to take over the apartment. <laughs> what gives you the right to do that? I don't miss rent payments or spend other people's money. So I want this signed and returned to me before the end of the day. Oh, and two weeks rent in advance when your next pay comes through. know about you and Jared. Oh, come on, don't play the innocent. He dumped me, and that can only mean one thing. What? Look, everyone knows that you're gagging for him. You dragged him to the ball last year, didn't you? Look, I'm not interested in Jared, okay? Nor do I steal other girls' boyfriends. I have a boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, right. The bar manager? Like he even exists. Look, you want to know why we met here? Because I'm broke, okay? And my boyfriend, the bar manager, also manages this place, so I get to eat for free. It's seriously tragic, but true. That bag, the one from the homeless guy? Safely locked away, but not checked for inventory. Um, as soon as I finish these forms, Look, I'll... Look, I'll do it. Uh, where's the key? Um, well, it is a nursing job, and, and you need someone to check the inventory with you. I'll nab someone. Am I in trouble? No, just give me the key. Um, I can get onto it right now. I... It's all right. We're going to get you some pain relief straight away. We've got a nasty fush injury, dental deformity, and her right wrist. Okay, the registrar can handle that. Oh, the registrar is running late. I've got somewhere to be. Send her up to X-ray. She can't wait around. Okay. If you just like to sit here, a doctor will be with you as soon as possible. Hey, all sorted. I can get onto that inventory right now. Are uh, you Sophie Mackay's boyfriend? Hey, you're early. So, are you or aren't you? Well, I have to say, I are. I mean, I'm... Um... Karen, this is my friend Lucy. Lucy, this is Karen, my boyfriend. Uh, please meet you. What's wrong? If you're not going out with Jared, then he dumped me because he hates me. Uh, who's Jared? No, 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 he doesn't hate you. He's just being a stupid dog. Yeah, perhaps she'd be more comfortable upstairs. She's really upset. Then I'm sure she'd appreciate some privacy. <laughs> See you finished for the day. <sighs> Time for a refreshing beverage of your choice, then. What can I get you? A beer. Tap beer, just half. No, that wise man. Slow and steady build up to tonight. Rugby, remember? Ah. It's been a long day, my friend. Oh, big man, that is dangerously close to sounding soft. Hmm. Alright, you lose a patient or two. That's not the only thing. What the hell is wrong with you? Stepping like that in front of a patient? You were supposed to be helping patients, not hindering. I know. Okay? I shouldn't have done that. Just this whole money thing, okay? It's getting on top of me. Your gambling problem, Maxwell. Say it out loud. It is real and it is affecting your work, and that's not all it's affecting. Okay. okay. I'm a dick. Okay. I don't want to, I don't want to be like this. So what are you gonna do about it? I'm asking for help. Okay, how about a support group or something? Okay, or... you help me. Look, I'll do anything you say. Support groups, I'll go. Like, I'll do all of it. For you. If you stay with me, I can... Hold on, duh, baby steps. I want to help you, but this is your battle. I know it sounds cliched, but the only person who can help you is you, so remember that. I will. Thank you, Trace. Look, support group, here I come, I mean it. You appear quite... Unaffected by the end of your marriage. Um, well, you offered to discuss our respective breakups earlier. 
I miss Gerald terribly. He's my best friend in the world, was. I wish we could have that back. Do you regret that your marriage has ended? No. It was the right thing to do. And ending things with Chris was right for me. Though it's not as straightforward as I'd hoped. Uh -huh. Well, I'm even more distracted than before. I can't drive the thoughts of him from my head. I'm, I miss him a great deal. You always help me make sense of things. <laughs> Maybe breaking up with Chris isn't the right thing for you. But it's the only option. I can't risk the consequence of a workplace relationship. The distraction could be disastrous. Being apart from him doesn't seem to be working that well for you either. And I can't imagine you distracted. Well, not for long, anyway. And if you find someone you really care about, and he really cares about you, you have to go for it. So, do you have it? Charm, good looks. You like to be Miss Pacific, Bookie. Well, everything appears in order. Congratulations on becoming my new tenant. Two dinner menus, please, and a glass of Reserve Sauvignon to start. I think this calls for a celebration. Coming up. Got somewhere else to be? I've got a hot tip on a horse. Tote closes in half an hour. Well, don't let me keep you. Uh, Max, go. Oh, yes, if you lose, but not so much if you hit the jackpot. Pity to let it go to waste, then. Sermont, race five, Addington, my friend. Seriously, though, did you see the way he was dancing at the school ball? He actually looked like he was having a heart attack. <laughs> <I know. laughs> um, could I please have the soda bag? Uh, Chardonnay. Oh, my driver's license? Uh, yeah, there's um, plenty of wine upstairs. You'll be more comfortable up there. Oh, okay. Our romantic night in is going to be a whole lot <sighs> less romantic unless you start to lighten up. Yeah, when you stop it, people are staring. So? Let them. I'd rather not. I'd rather let my clientele, most of whom happen to be your father's work colleagues, enjoy themselves having to partake of teenage tantrums. You're right. Maybe we should discuss this over dinner. Yeah, sorry. Dinner's off. I'm going out. I've only ordered one glass. No, not for me. I've got to get back to work. Oh, I wish you didn't have to. Yes, me too, but unfortunately the paperwork won't shift itself. Oh, well, I'll just have to have a lovely girl's night in. Me and a beauty treatment or two. Mm, it's not like you need it. You know, I think I've changed my mind about boys' night. <laughs> what are you still doing here? What do you mean? I'm not going anywhere. You said you were going out. So, unless you want to be evicted instead, shoo. Boys, come in. Welcome. Mate, it's going to be a big night. Good evening, bro. Didn't I mention the boys are coming round to watch the rugby? Make yourself at home, lads. There he is, eh? Hey. Ah, there you are. Ooh. Take that for you. Hello, Brooke. You're the half-time entertainment. Oh, ha-ha. <laughs> hey, uh, sweepstakes on the score. Half-time, full-time, yeah? Now you're talking. Hey. Sit down. There's plenty of room, my friend. So what do you think, Tomo? Reckon we'll see some good play here tonight. Well, weather conditions permitting, she's a bit dodgy out there, but I reckon we're in for some premium play for sure. I thought she will never leave. That's a fairly big call. No, I'm serious, mate. I tried to change him. That's what it was. That's a definite no-no. Really? Has that happened to you? No, but I remember reading somewhere that it was bad. I so need another wine. Uh, I will have the continental breakfast, thank you. That's with wholemeal bread and just a little bit before seven. <clears throat> uh, another Chardonnay. Why are you serving alcohol to those girls? She's legal. Uh, barely, and I bet she's not paying a cent. This is not a good look, Sophie. She's 18 and I'm not drinking, see? Lime and soda. That is not the point. You can't hang out here. Karen will go nuts. <laughs> I think I'd prefer to hear that from him. And what's her problem? Uh, it's closing time. I'm happy to lock up if you like. Seriously, Karen's shown me the whole routine. I don't know. 
Honestly, he'll be totally cool with it. And happy to ring him if you like. Okay. Oh my gosh. You know what this means? <laughs> we have the whole bar to ourselves. <laughs> Don't even think about it. <laughs> what? You were the manager's girlfriend, Soph. It's his job to keep you happy. And it's not like he's here keeping you happy tonight. Cocktails it is. <laughs> yes! Soon after nice timing, gents. Just in time for kickoff. Stick this in the fridge. Go for your life. Cheers. Pleasure. You have to miss us at home tonight, then. Gabrielle. I hear it's all on. I'm sure we have more interesting things to talk about than my private life. Really? Oh. You always seemed ever so eager to discuss mine. Warning me not to hurt Libby. Remember that one? Funny how things work out, uh, isn't it? Shh, guys. Right, uh, we're I think crossing back something. to Tomo now, who's down on the pitch. I hear we have a development. Well, mate, as you can see, this is some seriously stubborn fog. Oh, hard enough. Oh, and in fact, we've just had word from the organisers that the game is off. Ah, oh, oh, that sucks. No, oh, anything else on? No, motor racing, <laughs> volleyball. How about we play poker? Hey, you know what? I think no, 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 poker. Right, and look what we have right here. Oh, good on you. Texas Hold'em, who's dealing? Who's up for playing for cash? Not me, I'm skipped. Yeah, me too. Ah, well, thanks to our gracious host, I'm particularly flush this evening. No, not cement. So yeah, he wronged him. Paid in at 78 bucks and I put his hand on him, so I'm more than happy to bankroll anybody that needs it, although you will pay me back. OK? Oh, go on, then. Go on, big man. That's not a golden opportunity. Hello again. How are you doing? I'm really quite confused. Can I help? Well, you advised me that I should go for it with Chris. I did. Yeah, but going for it has been the catalyst for everything falling apart. So how could allowing myself to go for it with Chris possibly improve the odds of a successful personal and professional relationship? Because when you love someone, you draw strength from them and, and they draw strength from you. And that way, if any problems arise, you can both work together to overcome them. And if you love each other enough, then you'll both find a, a way to make that happen, no matter how big it is. So with you and Gerald, there was, there was a problem too big to overcome, or didn't you love each other enough? I, I think I'm expected in a meeting. Read them when we... Ah, Jamie Bigger. Yes, this I cannot deny. It was a phrase mistake, so yeah, uh, ten dollar bets. Now you're talking. I don't know. Come on, you get a chance of missing your money back. I think I'm gracious, why not? I don't want to dip into the house, profits. Shanty will go visit it. I'm in. Better boy. Go on, my luck's got to change sometime. I should probably call it a night. Should. I do suspect Dr. Warner has trouble making up his mind. Home poker, Gabrielle Libby. I'll leave you to it. Just the big boys left them. Are we playing poker or are we playing poker? Beer? Got more rounds? I don't know. Oh, come on, sit down, have your beer, and stop being a nana. Yeah, come on, let's play. Come on, let's wipe the smile off his face. <laughs> come on, then. All right, here we go. We are so loving chocolate martinis. Hell yes. Let's something more blood cream next. You choose. Mm. You know what? This was such a great idea. You know what? I bet Jared is missing me hard out right now. Of course he is. And whose fault is that? Not yours. Exactly. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, uh, no drunk dialing. That's fun. Jared. <laughs> Guess where I am. Not sitting around and feeling stink that you dumped me, that's for sure. <laughs> I am drinking martinis in my best friend's boyfriend's bar and having a fantastic time. <laughs> Have a nice life, loser. I don't mean that. I don't know what I mean. 
<laughs> yes, I do. I love you. There, I said it. I love you. I want you back. Okay. I miss him so much. Looks like happy hour's over. I'll um, go make us something to eat, okay? Fold. Sayonara, sucker. <laughs> oh, why have I got food in my face? I'm out. Raise your 50. Ooh. Okay. Cool. No! That's <laughs> what I'm talking about. Oh. Uh, it's been a long time since I made out like a bandit. It feels so good. Hey, don't rub it in. <laughs> well done, bro. Oh, come on. Hey, I'm on a roll here. Set him up. As much as I'd love to let you cane my butt again, uh, I'm going to split. Did I? Oh, come on, guys. Let's have some fun here. Let's take it to the casino. Drinks on me. Hey, eh? mate, you got a fair whack of cash there. I quit while I was ahead. My luck has officially run out. No way, Kieran. It's a beautiful thing. No one can touch me. It might rub off on you. All right, casino it is. Yes! <laughs> Woohoo! Guys, will you shut up? Sorry, bro! <laughs> OK, these babies are guaranteed to make you feel better. I swear every fat group is represented. Let's go to Will. You OK, baby? Don't look so good. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, gross. Oh, oh. OK, that's OK. Um, we just need to get you a bucket and some water and somewhere to lie down, OK? I'm sorry. No, it's OK. Um, we just need to get this cleaned up before Karen gets back. Come on, I'll take you to the bathroom. you just got to get up, OK? Come on. Lucy, come on. Lucy, wake up. Come on. Lucy! Lucy! Seems like he really wants to change. Adults always say that. They lie. She's gambling on love. If you take him back, you better be ready for some serious heartbreak. Shortland Street. Next, TV2.